Hi, welcome back to the channel. In uh, this video we will try to make a CCMT tool shank holder for the date. Actually for my brother, he recently bought a used blade and uh, there was a lot of high speed steel tooling but uh, no carbide inserted so uh, we will try make one for this little one it is a oh, CCMT um, 060204 These are another brand here but it doesn't matter This is Sumi Sumitomo Sumitomo Electric This one is a sandwich This one um, And I will also Say thank you to all the views and all the new subscribers and I hope you enjoy this little project I'll start by cleaning the part up I just used one of these cheap high speed Chinese roughing end mills just to save a carbide one because this rusty thing is hard on the end mill And I'll just remove the there.
Aber der ist täglich Tänzer von Millimeter. Now we will just square the end off. Cleaned up part. To clean it up, I will try a uh, four fluid carbide end mill. It's a new one. I never tried it before, called Nano Tech or something from Stuck. Lay that down. It is a Super F U T something. So I'll try that out from a made in Germany. Very nice box. There's a cone in the end, so when you close it, the end mill is locked and can wiggle around and destroy the box so I'll try that and as you see here I set the rotary table up and dial the part in so it's running concentric with the bed at the middle table at the middle and uh, the reason is that this is a 
80 degree diamond is easy MT and uh, then I can tilt it half the way between 90 and 80 5 degrees and then I can cut the pocket out in two straight lines so I'll get this set up and now I will turn this 5 degrees in that direction hope you can see the dial set on zero If I want to go that direction, I want the handle the other way. So we will take one, two, three, four, five degrees. Then we will lock it down. And we need to cut the end five degrees this side five degrees that way so that uh, maybe it's so this point is still in the in the middle in the center line so let's try that nice and easy it's not the most the best setup, but I hope it will hold on. It feels sturdy. I don't know. Let's try small cuts. I'll just take a quarter of a millimeter at a time and hand feed it. cuts very very nice no chatter or anything look at this overhang here for this little bar of steel and it just run like butter okay very very impressed I will try to Get a closer look at the finish if I can. Now I will turn it five degrees the other way. Very, very, very nice chips. Now, well. 
I have to reach the other way and make the other edge. Of course, we could change the end mill and make some of the perfect, but we will not. See how this is zero. One, two, three, four, five degrees there. And we will fix it up. I just took a 3 mm carbide end mill and make the first part of the slot. I forgot to turn the camera on. Um, it's running 2500 RPM and we are going a feed rate of 10 mm per minute. So we will just check that the roof is wide enough for this nice and we have to go to a depth of 2.25 millimeters and I will take it in four steps or something like that there cutting oil
and of course we should have turned the table around for the back relief cut here so now I will have to turn the table and then I will have to face the end again because now it is a 90 degree angle and it should only be 80 degrees in here so thinking was not a part of this that's why the tool is so long and we can try uh, five or six times if it's necessary so uh, I'll turn the table around and then I'll try again Now we will just clean up the cut and then we will take a measurement and see how much we will take off the end. Test the little tip out. See how much we need to take off. Ah, a bit. But um, the other way actually fits very, very good. Maybe we will take tens of a millimeter off. That's very nice. Now we'll just face the end off. And I spread the little line and I'll just go to that and try to insert and test fit it.
Now we will test the feet. Okay, so nice it didn't go right up for the striped line because it's still on here and the tip is think flush with the end let's try. No, we have to go a little more. Oh, it is a... Tenth of a millimeter more. So we have to go X. One plus one. That's it. Then we'll give it one more go. This is nice, and I just need to take tenths of a millimeter to the other side, and then we are done. I will just rotate the table now, so I don't forget. And let's take this. See if we are going that way. Zero and five degrees here. One more. We lock it. Now we will just take a hair of the front edge to make a perfect fit. I'll just turn it off and then take one tenth of a millimeter or something. That's four thousand of an inch. And that not very clever. I found it. And let's see, we can take this out. Now the fit. Actually that looks very nice now. Then I will use a little trick. I Randy Richards video. He showed that we find something that fit this perfect and then we can use that to find the zero of the hole in here to drill and tap the tool holder shank. I found a 2.7 millimeter drill bit actually fits it, but not much play if any play and then I'll just stick the drill bit down so it almost touches the shank and then I will dial this in until it's not moving then I need to find out a way to hold it Sorry, because um, I don't have a two and a half millimeter tread tap, and it's actually a screw on this size. So I will find out if I can buy the tap, or else I need to make a little. 
I can turn that little pin to press in and put the insert on the pin down here and then make a, a just a locating one in the bottom and then I can hold it down then it should be secure maybe that's the way we'll do it I don't know right now and now due to the magic of television we have a 2.5 millimeter tap I had to wait for it to be imported this little guy would cost me fifty dollars in to buy in Denmark so we had to wait so we were down on the equipment not a very fun thing this is of course China's best so let's hope it works and um, we have to send a drill drill a 2.2 millimeter hole and then tap the tap it and and try the little insert Just test if the insert fits. <clears throat> I also ordered some of the right tapered screws for these, but they are not here yet, so I have to borrow some from my other tools. Now I fitted the insert in, and as you maybe maybe not see it is sitting very very nice 
There is it. I can feel a tiny, tiny bit sticking out from the tool, but it's maybe one hundred of a millimeter, half a thousand or something. It's very, very much better than the commercial part one I have. You can see it's facing down here. I just took the excitement out of the holder by taking a couple of random stone and just rounded the edges a little bit. Not very much because I need support under the whole insert. So now we just need to relieve this part. I'll just set it up in the device and take an end mill and take this off and then we can test it. Now we will just use a carbide end mill and trim this excess off. I have it on a parallel. I just put it in the tool in the, in the lathe here and uh, I will probably middle two millimeters of the back it sticks out a little in the in the holder but uh, let's give it a test see if it works like the commercial one
for us here. One millimeter deep cut, and uh, this sandwich insert looks like it cuts a lot better than the old one I have. Um, I will just try taking a facing cut. You won't see it, but uh, you will hear if it cuts probably. And uh, the homemade one works very nice, no problem. 